And the, the subject matter for tonight, what I'm specifically focusing on, is alcohol. Drinking. Drinking booze. Drinking beer. Liquor. Because the world, it's just fine. There's no issue with it. Now, the world, they're against, you know, drunk driving. They're against, you know, some other things. But by and large, drinking alcohol, not that big of a deal. No problem. And, uh, and seems to be accepted pretty much everywhere. But what I'm going to teach tonight, what I believe wholeheartedly, is that we ought to be what's known as teetotalers. A teetotaler means it's total abstinence from alcohol. We don't touch the stuff. We don't even look upon the booze. We don't look on the alcohol because we don't want to be tempted with it. We have nothing to do with it. It's wicked. It's evil. And it's not for believers. You believe in God's word. You shouldn't touch this stuff. It's poison. It's dangerous. And it destroys lives. And if you caught in my prayer, I said, as I was praying to God, trying to help me preach this sermon, this is a subject that's close to me because this is a problem that I dealt with for many years. It's something I've been involved with and unfortunately know firsthand all too well a lot of the problems that go along with drinking alcohol. You don't need to hear all the firsthand stories from me because we've got the word of God. But I'll tell you what, it's been confirmed in my life that God's word is true. And if you need any type of extra proof, you could, you could ask me and I'll let you know some of the things that have happened. But it's not something, it's not about me and I'm not going to go into a whole bunch of my personal stories tonight because quite frankly, a lot of them are just shameful and embarrassment anyways. And there's no point in getting into all that. Because one thing that alcohol is going to do, you get involved with alcohol, it's going to bring shame. It's going to bring embarrassment. It's going to cause you to say stupid things. It's going to cause you to do stupid things. But before I get too far ahead of myself, we're going to end up in Proverbs later on, where it teaches the wisdom on, on how dangerous and, and wicked drinking alcohol is. But the first point I want to make is that when you read the Bible, you have to understand that when the Bible uses the word wine, it is not always referring to alcohol. It is referring to any type of beverage that comes forth from fruit. Just as we have today, beverages that come from fruit, some are alcoholic, some are non-alcoholic. Well, in scripture, you have the same exact thing. And I don't have, I've preached sermons on this multiple times at, at Word of Truth Baptist Church because it is such an important topic, because it is one that many people want to make up any excuse possible to just drink a little bit of booze because they want to walk in the flesh a little bit, because they want to gratify that fleshly desire to get a little buzz or to get drunk. And it's wicked as hell. 